Hey, what's up guys? My name is Evan Ulbricht and I'm back with another video today. Today we will be doing surf photography with a 50mm lens and got my Aquatech water housing right here. Got my GoPro and yeah, got my other equipment right here. So ready to get in the water and should be a lot of fun because it's a big swell. So see you out there. So I'm back from the surf photography and it's a couple days later and I've gone through the photos and I kind of want to show you guys my process really quick of what I do from uploading them uh, to Lightroom uh, to editing them as well. So right here, I, I have all these deleted because I didn't use these, but these are all the photos that I uploaded and they kind of look like this and then I'll sort through them using this tool and kind of just go back and forth and, you know, look at different photos that I like and maybe even try to edit some of them that I think could be good. But so on the bottom right here, thing that I use a lot that I really like that I feel like is kind of underused is the stars right here or the flags even. So if you like a photo, you can give it a star rating. And then up here, you can throw in stars. Say so if one's like a two star or a three star and you can kind of make your own system using that. So I usually will just use five stars to make it a little bit easier. And then if there's a photo that I like, I'll be like, hey, this like these are both five stars, and I'll try to edit it, but I don't like this one as much as this one, because this one's a lot closer, frame really good, this one's kind of far, this guy's in it, it's just, the framing's not really good, so I would be like, hey, all right, that's fine, and then I'll just kind of take the stars off, and then it'll be gone. So kind of stuff like that, we'll use it to really help you kind of organize your photos that you like, and only edit the ones that you feel like are worth spending your time to edit on. And so I'll go through these and then obviously have some like presets and stuff that I'll be using, which are over here. And I kind of have a bunch of them and thinking about making a preset set to kind of give you guys, which would probably be pretty useful. But like this one, like I could be like, this is kind of a fun photo, not the best framing, but I think it's still a cool photo. So I can make, oh, I really like this one. It's not too bright, not too dark. Like, this is the original. 
make it a little bit lighter, a little more blue, but it still looks kind of like a dull photo. They add a little more vibrance and saturation and kind of just mess with it like that. But overall, that's kind of just what I do. And then I'll have like for golden hour and different types. So an examples are right here. So this is from my se two sessions ago, which came out crazy. And I'll probably try to make some prints of this and show some of you guys some of these, but came out really good. And this was actually the original, which looks crazy how big of a difference there is from this, like, this is one sequence and then that's the original which looks crazy and in all of these and then just if the color is really bad you can really bring a lot of color out of a lot of photos and kind of have fun with it like this is more of like a creative way of editing this photo or I can just do like my surf one like this or like this which I think this one looks kind of more creative, but this one probably looks better, um, which I can use this and then be like, uh, I still want to add some more color. So I can kind of like spike up the color like that and kind of make it, and then I can push it back to more blue, or I can just go with more temp, and you kind of mess with that. So there's a lot of different ways to mess with photos, a lot of super fun ways to mess with photos. Um, but yeah, it's kind of just messing around with stuff and learning a lot of stuff but overall yeah editing them and putting them with the five stars is super helpful and I do my kind of style is like the light blues so I have like different kind of blues like that which I think this soft blue is probably my favorite this photo is super sick obviously a little bit darker so this preset right away boom and then Obviously, you can see the shadows are up a lot, which obviously I'm, I'm not done editing all these, but yeah, I think the shadows kind of have to be up a lot, and sometimes it takes a while to load because it's a big-ass photo, but yeah, I think it's a great shot, and just like super cool. You can see the whole wave, the cool perspective, how low, and this isn't in focus, which I feel like makes it even cooler, but I mean, there's a ton of great shots that I think could be really good if I edit them super fun. But yeah, kind of just how I go through my photos and there's different ways to look at them like this. You'd be like, and you can do them like different ones that are in the same kind of like shot, like sequence. So like these, this row is all like the same sort of sequence. So it's like, maybe I like this one better. I'm kind of doing a turn instead of this one because he's kind of in a weird position. Or maybe like with him going down the wave like this, these are just two shots right next to each other. We're just like comparing them. Like all these are the same. So boom, boom, boom. That's all the same wave. And you can kind of go out and compare them. Like, oh, maybe it, like this one's cool because he's like big bottom turn and the wave looks pretty big right here. So I think that photo looks the best. And then you got to figure out how to frame him and all that stuff. And definitely when you're editing, you frame the photo first because then it helps you with kind of everything else. Everything else will follow. Make sure the photo's straight and definitely frame it. But with surf photography, it's hard to know like where the photo is straight. So like you kind of align it like with like one of these lines or like the wave because you can't really see the beach. So like even some of the photos where there are the beach, the beach is not like straight. So if the beach was straight, it would look really weird on the bottom. So you kind of have to mess with that and see just what looks best with who's in the photo. And especially stuff like this, like if you're under him, the photo is not going to be straight if it's like a weird angle and fun stuff like that. So definitely got to mess around with that stuff. And yeah, that's it for the video. Hope you liked it. Let me know if you want to see more fun surf photography, stuff like that. Or if you want to see like how I edit my photos more in depth and I can literally just edit a bunch of raw photos for you guys and show you guys my presets and kind of how I did that and like how to make presets or any questions you guys have. So thanks for watching the video. See you next video.